I got nothing. Hello my beautiful geekies and welcome to my review for The Neon Demon, directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, written by Nicholas Winding Refn, Mary Laws and Polly Stanham. It stars Elle Fanning, Jenna Malone, Abby Lee, Bella Heathcote and Keanu Reeves, among a few others. This is about a young girl who moves into LA to become a model, played by Elle Fanning, and she finds herself surrounded by these beauty-obsessed women who will do anything they can to get what she has, and that is true, natural, pure beauty. And this movie is just like that. It looks incredible. One of the most beautiful movies I have ever seen in my life. From the script and what it has to say and what the story tells and then the way the shots work, the lighting, the cinematography, everything looks so pristine. The color, they play such a big part in this movie because if you know anything about Nicholas Winding Refn is that this guy is not exactly the most fluid narrative storyteller. He leaves many things to be questioned. He leaves many questions inside of your head because he tells you his stories through visuals and through visual metaphors and that is what makes him unique and sometimes very good and sometimes kind of meh. What I mean by that is that this movie, and I hate saying this even though I said it before, is not for everyone. It is not an easy movie to watch, it is not an easy movie to understand, and I understand if somebody who watches this review might not like the movie as much as I did. This story is disturbing, it is psychotic, it is weird, it is fucked up as anything you might have seen in all your life. You think Serbian film is disturbing? Well, it probably is more than this one, but still, point made. This movie is so fucked up. It is one of the ugliest movies I have seen and it's still one of the most beautiful films I have ever seen because it's one of those movies that is beautiful on the outside by the way it looks, the way everything is set on a single shot, but then you get into it and what it tells you it's really fucked up and ugly as hell. But let's talk about the performances. I really enjoyed Hal Fanning in this movie. She has never told me much as an actress. I've never been interested in a movie just because of her, but from now on, I will be. She was really good in this movie. She might get to you here and there, but I really liked her character, I really liked her performance, and I like how she moved around in this world and throughout the story. But the one person who is now one of my top favorite actresses working today is Jenna Malone. I don't want to tell you guys anything, but Jenna Malone, in this movie, wow, uh, that was interesting, what she did. I like her character, I like the relationship she creates with Elle Fanning's character, and then there's something, and let's leave it at that, something. I think this movie flows really beautifully, and again, the shots are just and compensating and you have to try and analyze them to tell you the story and this movie will leave you thinking. I am still thinking about this movie, I still want to watch this movie again, I can't wait to get it on Blu-ray, I will watch this movie a crap ton of times, I really honestly want to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch this movie so I can fully and feel that I fully understand it. The pacing can kind of be clunky here and there in the beginning of the movie like in the first 30 minutes let's say, and Keanu Reeves is a character that once he starts to get interesting, he completely fades out of the movie just like that. And there's also one or two shots that didn't need to be lingered on so much time, but of course they tell you this story and this is the way Nicholas Winding Refn works. I don't like this movie as much as Drive, I like this movie more than Only God Forgives, I really enjoy this movie. It's still one of those movies that will leave you thinking. I am thinking about this movie right now, I'll keep thinking it as I am editing this review, and I will keep thinking it even after I watch War Dogs on Saturday. The Neon Demon is not an easy movie to watch, and don't just bring anyone 
to the movie theater with you if you got a chance to watch it there. Bring a friend who's your own age, bring a friend who's into the same things you are into, but don't just bring anyone. It is really disturbing, it is really weird, you will feel really icky as you watch it, but I totally recommend you. It is a really different art form and it has some great commentary on the world of modeling. Even though it goes to those fetish extremes that Nicholas Winding Refn likes to go to, I still think you should watch this movie, try to understand it. I think I understood it, but I'm a dumb dumb as I told you before, so that might be wrong on my part. But The Neon Demon is really one of the most unique movies I've ever seen. I really enjoyed it, can't wait to see it again, and that is why it absolutely deserves a Neo before me. What did you think? What did you think of The Neon Demon? Do you like Nicholas Winding Refn? Do you like his movies? Tell me which one is your favorite in the comments below. And as you go down there, don't forget to vote for the movie in September that deserves a Q&A. The time is almost over, guys. I can't wait to announce who the winner is, and I'll probably announce that on my Sausage Party review or my Ben-Hur review. The movie with the biggest number of votes right now is The Magnificent Seven. If you want to change that, it's up to you to vote. And if you haven't done so yet and you are new to this channel, subscribe and join our beautiful geeky community where you can be geeky united. I just scheduled a collab video that I'll bring to you very soon, probably even Sunday, but on Saturday I'll bring you my War Dogs review and a requested review that one of you beautiful geekies asked me to do and that was the reaction to the second TV spot for Moana that I didn't check out because I don't like to watch TV spots but since you asked I will gladly do it. Don't forget to come back for those reviews and check out previous reviews for some of which I will leave links at the end of the other video and of course stay beautiful geekies. Cheers!